All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and we have reached that point where news is trickling in every single day for the five-year anniversary, and we got a real, real big one this time. So uh, there's now two new teasers for story events. Now, we did see this previously in V-Jump Teased. Um, you know, yesterday we had the teasers for... Uh, that new Infinite Dragon Ball History stages, as well as Boss Rush. Um, you know, we had the teaser for the anniversary live stream. You know, two days remaining until the anniversary info, and then three days until we actually get the live stream, right? But one of the very big things here, I'm going to go ahead and switch over, and we'll zoom in and take a look. Um, on these two story events, as you guys can see, there is a fifth anniversary icon or logo right there. Clearly, that is Vegito. And then on the Broly story event one, Fifth anniversary icon, clearly that is Gogeta right there. So, I mean, there it is. Uh, that that There we go. There's the official, you know, sort of in-game, like, yeah, Gogeta and Vegito. And I will tell you all this, like, you know, Kawhi already confirmed that the French data miners already let us know, yeah, Gogeta and Vegito, it's coming, right? Um, and then it was super obvious with, you know, the Gogeta blue collab figure. But, like, I don't know, seeing the icons in-game, it's like, oh, man, I, like, I know people have been disappointed, like, oh, Gogeta Blue, Vegeta Blue again, but it's like, we don't have a standalone Vege uh, Gogeta Blue card. I don't, I'm not so sure that this one is going to be a standalone Gogeta Blue card either. You know, judging by the fact that they're both base right here, I would assume that they're going to be base at LR. Now, we're going to go over it, but that would be a good thing. It is good if both of them are base. That's not really a big deal whatsoever, right? Uh, so that will be good. Um, and it's just like, like, dude, Vegito Blue and Gogeta Blue, that is real hype. Like, you know, I, I don't know what they could have done that would have been more hype. I mean, I would, like, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito and then, like, Super Saiyan 4 Kaioken Gogeta been more hype? Maybe. I, I guess because, you know, we obviously are going to get more Gogeta Blues and Vegito Blues in the future, but, like, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito being, like, a Dokkan Fest exclusive would be super hype, right? But, like, this is pretty much near the, the cream of the crop of, of what they could release uh, in a Dragon Ball game. These two together. So, uh, this is definitely very, very hype. Um, if we head back in, let, let's actually just, just hop in real quick to the two teasers. Um, so, I believe this is called... Like, we're going to take a look at some translations by the homie Goresh. Uh, happy birthday, of course, to the homie Goresh. Uh, by the way, it is his birthday, January 27th. Um, this story event right here is called, like, it's like the three Faded Saiyans or whatever. Um, we got Kid Goku, Kid Broly, and Kid Vegeta right here. Um, we have Kid Broly and Kid Vegeta are obtainable. Um, so, you know, we'll go over some more details that Goresh translated for us in a bit. Um, and that's it. Just, just those two right there. So, I assume we're gonna get this Goku as well. Um, he's not teased here. I mean, that doesn't mean we're not gonna get him from this. Um, but I mean, potentially, I guess he could be summonable, but that, I mean, that's, that's a weird unit to be summonable, right? Um, then if we go down here, we have, uh, this is, I believe this is the Zero Mortal Plan, uh, is the translation for this. We can see the Super Dragon Balls right there, and just, I, I believe this might be Zamasu summoning, uh, Super Shenron, I, I think. I'd have to go back and double check some of the scenes, but, um, we got this, uh, you know, story event with this free Zamasu. I would say chances are pretty good. Um, that, that at least one of these three units is going to easy, easy a, um, probably, or presumably maybe all of them will. Um, so this story event's probably going to cover Goku switching bodies with, uh, Zamasu, by the way, we might even get Goku black in the, the Supreme Kai outfit. Uh, you know, that's, that's a card we don't have. I wonder if he potentially could have a different name. I doubt it, but it's possible, right? So, Okay. Let's go ahead and switch back over. Um, you know, again, the logo for Vegito and Gogeta. Now, people are already saying, like, oh, Vegito is blue, his logo is blue, and Gogeta is is yellow. Could they be AGL and physical? Now, Gogeta being physical, we want that. That's really good. Um, physical needs it, fusion needs it, everything is great. But, like, you know, I, I just, if you guys saw, I just did um a series of top 10 videos, and super AG, like AGL is just so much better than every other typing. It's insane. Like, AGL right now currently has the best unit in the game, I think, the third best unit in the game, the fourth best unit in the game, and the fifth best unit in the game. Are you kidding me? We're going to now give AGL another one of the top units in the game? So, like, of the top seven, you're going to tell me that AGL is going to have five of the seven spots? That's insane. Like, there's there's no way they're going to make him eight. They can't do that. <laughs> like, Int 
Int and STR could both use Vegito way more than AGL, but I mean, <sighs> you know, if we look at the Vegito blue units, right, there's a tech, an STR, and a physical. So, dude, make him Int. Don't make him AGL. AGL does not need it. I mean, in the category meta, is it really the biggest deal that all these good units are AGL? Probably not, but still, like, uh, it's unnecessary. Please. <laughs> okay. Um, so the two new story events, of course, shout out to the homie Gresh, his birthday, by the way, here, let's, let's go ahead and click, uh, Gresh's profile so we can see the, the birthday balloons, my boy, there we go, um, okay, so again, big shout out to Gresh, his birthday night, my man probably had a couple of shots or something, and he's still, like, getting up in the middle of the night to do translation, so big shout out to Gresh, um, so we got the two new story events, the Zero Mortals plan and three Saiyans driven by fate, Zamasu is a time traveler leader, okay, um, Kid Broly and Kid Vegeta both have their own orbs. Broly is a pure Saiyan leader, and Vegeta's passive is attack plus 50%. Okay. Um, so, Zamasu, right? Here, let me pull up uh, da, 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 this guy right here. Okay. So, this is a free-to-play base form Gogeta, right? This is currently the only base Gogeta in the game. Um, he's okay, but, like, him getting replaced doesn't matter. Like, he's just okay. Like, he's, he's free-to-play leader. Um, I would say chances are decent that we're going to end up with the, the free-to-play time travel leader of 77% being Zamasu. Um, as far as pure Saiyans, do we have one of those for pure Saiyans? We do, right? I, I, have, I have to double-check. It, it's hard to keep track of everything in my head, right? <laughs> uh, no, we don't. Okay, because you're he's 100%, right? No, he's 70%. Okay. But we don't have one of those easy A leaders at 77%. So Broly could be 77% for this. Um, I do think this Broly should be in the sub category, by the way. Not a big deal, but I, I do. Um, okay. Uh, and then Vegeta. Who knows what Vegeta could be, right? I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, it, it, man, it'd be better if Broly was like low class warrior, huh? Broly should be low. Shouldn't he? Wait, well, hmm. I actually, I'm not sure what Paragus' status is, right? Like, is, is Paris an elite Saiyan or what? Uh, I don't know. So, maybe only Goku. But at least, hopefully they do give us a kid Goku who probably would be a buff um, to the low-class warrior team, which needs it. I believe there's more. Um, you can assume that Kid Broly and Vegeta will both be getting easy A's, but keep in mind it does not mention that, purely me speculating. And then, of course, they do have their own orbs, right? That's obviously good. Free rainbow units for everyone obviously are a very big deal, um, you know, for, like, Battlefield or something like that. I'm sure that's very impactful for free-to-play players uh, to just have some better units overall for their box, right? Okay. Um, actually, let's look at the Broly, Vegeta, and Zamasu real quick, and then we're going to take a look at Vegito and Gogeta real fast. All right, so Broly, um, I assume this is going to be a new named character. There is no youth Broly or anything like that in here, um, so I, I presume we're going to get that. I still do think it's very stupid, that this Broly has the same name as DBZ Broly, and then the Super Saiyan Broly's are mixed together. It's just asinine, if I'm going to be quite honest. Uh, they really should split that up. It's just ridiculously stupid. Like, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't break the game having this Broly and this Broly on the same team. Obviously, it's very, very strong, but the game does not get shattered in two if you do that. So just split them up. It's dumb. Same thing with Easy A Rage Trunks, but we'll probably get a youth Broly here, so that will be good. Um, by the way, I mean, Zamasu and Broly, Top Legendary Summon Banner Part 2, the chances of that seem very high right now, by the way. Um, now, for Vegeta... Judging by what they did with Broly um, and stuff, it's probably just going to be Kid Vegeta right here. Um, I, I I doubt they're going to give him a different name. He's probably just going to end up right there, right? So that will be interesting. Um, and then, Oh, I didn't have Goku pulled up. Um, Goku... I, I, I would have to imagine they're going to make that youth Goku obtainable, right? It would be stupid if he wasn't... I don't know. Would he fit in this... In Would he, they just call him Goku Youth? Pro probably? I guess so, right? Um, but that would be unfortunate because, you know, obviously we've got 50 other cards here, including this Dokkan Fest version, who's still very, very good. Um, but I guess there's not that many Kid Gokus. I mean, we got this guy who's... Isn't this guy still only JP, by the way? Yeah, bizarre. I, I would have to imagine eventually he's going to come to Global because Global got his SSR version and the Arale SSR version back in May of 2017. What are they waiting for? Uh, very bizarre. Whatever. Um, and then Zamasu is, of course, going to be right here. Another STR Zamasu. We already have the AGL Zamasu, obviously a lot better. Int Zamasu and stuff like that. 
Uh, I mean, who knows? I suppose maybe an LR Goku Black could come in part two. I mean, it, basically, it looks to me as though anything is in play from the future Trunks arc as well as the Broly movie. I, I believe everything from those two arcs are basically in play right now. So, I mean, LR Merge Zamasu, LR Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black definitely could happen. I mean, I guess we can get an LR base form Goku Black. I mean, we definitely don't need that because, you know, we got two pretty good Goku Blacks right now. Um, an L It would make a lot of sense for them to do an LR Rose right now because this guy's about to get his EZA. They have done that a lot in the past where it's like, here's this EZA Goku Black. Oh, psych! We also dropped the summonable LR at the same time, right? So keep that in mind. Um, I do think chances are at least pretty decent as well that we could see an EZA for... Uh, I'm, I'm just repeating some info, but for Tech God Goku right there, as well as SCR God of Vegeta, I think them getting EZAs is very much in play. Um, I think this guy getting his EZA is... I, I just clicked him, but I mean, I, there's no way this celebration, like, you know, the, the Trunks arc is a huge focal point, and then they skip over his EZA. Clearly, the reason they have delayed his EZA was because they already had the theme in mind for the fifth year anniversary, the future Trunks arc slash the Broly movie, and obviously this guy is, you know, one of the big moments of the future Trunks arc, right? That moment was legendary when Vegeta starts beating Goku Black's ass and gets his revenge, right? So, um, I expect this guy to be absolutely spectacular, right? Uh, okay. Now, Vegito and Gogeta, right? If we take a look at Vegito, so... In the future Trunks arc, Vegito goes from base straight to blue. He doesn't even fight in base. So, I I would love, oh, baby, please, if they gave us base Vegito, turn one, instant transformation, just like Int Ribrian. Give us that, please. That would be godly. Because then what they're doing is they're saying, here, go ahead. Use this new Vegito Blue with the SCRLR, the tech one, if that's your favorite, or this guy who will be getting his EZA soon on Global. I, we don't know when, but I, I can't imagine it's going to be that much longer, right? So that would be incredible. They could have him go base to Super Saiyan to Blue. I mean, remember, he does not go Super Saiyan in the future Trunks arc, but they still could do it, right? It, like, his outfit does not change or anything like that from the Boo Saga. So, like, they could just, boom, here's Super Saiyan Vegito, right? Um, but obviously it's most impactful if Vegito is base, because if we look at the base Vegitos, you know, this guy is solid still. I mean, he's going to eventually get an easy and he'll be fantastic. Um, you know, even if this new Vegito comes out, the new Vegito is not going to be on the Boo Saga, right? So this guy will always be good on that team. So there's still that. Um, this guy is fodder, but like as an easy, he probably could be pretty interesting, right? Um, and then this guy... Would be great, but you can't rainbow the TUR and the LR at the same time. There's not enough um, orbs. He's not in the future category? Why? I did not know that. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's a little bizarre. Okay. What? Sure. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Whatever. Um, he probably should be on future. So, so that TUR is only usable in the Patara category. Interesting. I mean, that lowers his value by quite a lot. Um, but anyway, base Vegito is probably, I, I think, our best bet. Like, like th that's the best way it can be. Just hopefully the transformation condition is very, very simple. That's, that's what we want, right? But if he starts as blue, that's going to be a bummer. Because these, if this guy EZAs, I, I see no way his EZA competes with the anniversary LR Vegito blue. I, I just see no way. So, again, I I'm just hoping... That he does start his base. That that would be... And, you know, then we could get these ridiculously awesome transformation mechanics. And they could have active skills and all types of stuff. The units are just more fun when they transform. It's just best suited if they make it very easy for the transformations to happen. Then we look at Gogeta, right? So, Gogeta... There is the two different versions of Veku that show up in the movie, by the way. The skinny and the fat one. This guy could get an awakening. Keep in mind, this is, like, a different character than the one from Dragon Ball Super, though. I mean, they have different colored vests. So, this guy could get an awakening, and they could also drop two new Vekus. I mean, we'll see. Um, Super Gogeta, obviously, is just the Dragon Ball Z one, so we don't have to worry about him whatsoever, right? Now... We have Gogeta, Super Saiyan Gogeta, and then Blue Gogeta. As of right now, there is no standalone Blue Gogeta in the game. 
I don't think, by the way, that, like, Vegito would be base, and then, like, the LR for Gogeta would be blue. I think they will resemble each other. They always do that, where the units are similar in how they're designed, right? Like, the LR Super Saiyan 4s were basically the same, except certain things were switched around. You know, Gogeta was super effective against all types, first year anniversary. Janemba guarded against all types, first year anniversary. You know, like, they're always built that way, right? Like, they mirror each other. So if one starts in base, I would imagine the other is also going to start in base. So again, we continue to not have a standalone blue Gogeta, because right now I really think we're going to get a base Vegito and a base Gogeta. So what this means is we're going to get another LR blue Gogeta in the future, a standalone one. Like, they're very smartly setting things up. Um, now, the Super Saiyan Gogeta, he is still very relevant in the game's meta. He is super powerful even still, right? He does not need to be replaced. And then this guy is honestly pretty mid. Um, compared to a lot of the other 77% EZA free-to-play units, I, I don't really consider him one of the better ones. Um, he's only really great on the movie hero category team. On Fusion, he is I, and that's that's pretty much about it. So, man, looks like for the anniversary, um, we're going to get a base Gogeta and a base Vegito in LR form. I think you know, see, Gogeta might be a little bit different, see, because he does go Super Saiyan, then he goes to blue. I mean, it's definitely possible that, like, both of them instantly transform, although Gogeta does fight at least a little bit in base, whereas Vegito does not, Gogeta does, but both of them could transform immediately turn one, which would be cool, um, and then maybe Gogeta then could transform again, or he could have his active skill transformation, um, obviously, it would it would make the most sense to me, though, I think, if Gogeta and Vegito had active skill. Well, v Gogeta more than Vegito, if Gogeta had an active skill attack, because he does so many different attacks um, in the actual Broly movie, right? There's so many different things that he does, whereas Vegito is only around for, you know, five seconds and does almost nothing, so... I guess he could do, like, probably that attack where he instant transmissions and then punches the unit into the ground. Like, they could probably make that really interesting, but I don't know. We'll see. But as of right now, guys, it does look like base Gogeta and base Vegito is what we're going to get. Hopefully, they transform immediately upon entering the battle. I mean, that would be breathtaking. That would be so cool. That would be so great. So, let me know what you guys think we're going to see. Um, we also got these free-to-play units. Right now, the five-year anniversary... This is setting itself up. This could be, so far, the high point of Dokkan. This could be the best, most exciting celebration Dokkan has ever done. And I think it could be the most generous celebration Dokkan has ever had either. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. The hype is building. Only three days away until we'll probably see their info on the live stream. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch y'all next time.